Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. Since last time, I went over to the uh, court shop, and I opened up some more slots for everybody, and I purchased um, one new ornament and attack one for Ellie, mostly so that she has access to the fort spell. So, this is what my slots look like right now, so yeah, there you go. Even if you have, like, no quartz in the slots, it's fine. Just open up the slots for right now, that's the most important thing. So we need to head over to uh, St. Ursula Medical College, and yeah, awesome. Or medical hospital, I thought it was the college. Maybe it's a college and a hospital or something, I don't know. The translation changes every minute. <laughs> So can we actually catch the bus this time? That'd be kind of nice. Oh, yeah, we heard about that. Oh, yeah, you've only gotten to talk to her on the phone. Oh, okay, yeah, nurse. Yeah, we couldn't possibly have a woman be a doctor in a JRPG. No! No! Never! Never that! What do you mean, the nurse? What are you talking about? Um, yeah? <laughs> oh, man. Are you thinking like the nurse on Animaniacs or something? I mean, not all nurses look like that, Randy. Oh, yeah, and she, uh, you know, was also engaged to your brother, that too. Oh, yeah. Well, no one's gonna say that, like, she's a dog or anything. I mean, come on now. Wow, Randy. Whoa! Ooh! I don't want to think about your strike zone being on fire. Um, that brings about some negative connotations, like... STDs and things like that. Just, just saying, just saying. We haven't even introduced you yet. Ooh, you're a creep. Maybe we're not gonna introduce you. Yeah, no kidding. Lloyd's a good guy. Come on now. And he's super cute too. You leave Lloyd alone, Ellie. You know what is it? Oh, why? Bad memories and all that. Oh, yeah, I guess so. She kind of was stuck in a lab for a couple of months and everything. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tia seems to get angry pretty quickly. Yeah, um, Lloyd was just thinking about your feelings and everything. Oh. Well, that's nice. Wait. Did you overhear that before, too? Wow, your hearing's really good, isn't it? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And maybe we can also get some, um, some information regarding the gang members who were sent there as well. Who knows? So I guess 10 minutes has gone by, everybody's, uh, here. Oh, wow, 30 minutes have gone by. Yeah, no kidding. This has taken uh, pretty long. What's going on here? Oh. And who are you? Oh, well that's no good. So where's this bus? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, that's no good. Oh, can we do something to help, maybe? Oh, okay. I don't think they have a building in town or anything, but sure. I really like how they have bus systems in this game. They really don't do that enough in RPGs. The only other RPG... That I can think of where you really are able to, like, ride a bus like this, or even have a bus stop in general, is, like, Earthbound. That's pretty much it. 
Yeah, we've got to walk. <laughs> but that's fine. You know, I don't mind walking. You know, there's going to be treasures and fishing spots and other kind of cool stuff that we can go find. Oh, yeah, um, our reputation precedes us as usual. Yeah, we can help you out, you know. Raise some goodwill and all that kind of good stuff. No, that's okay. Yeah, uh, Arias can sit this one out. It's just bus repair. Okay, well, let's talk to these people. Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh. Well, maybe you could just wait till tomorrow or something. Oh, that's sad. What about you? Oh, I guess this one actually is sick. Huh. You know, Crossville's so large, it's kind of surprising that they don't have a hospital, like, right inside the city. You know, wouldn't you think that they would? Or a doctor's office or something? Oh. Yeah, it is a rather nice place, I've got to say. Oh, the airport, huh. Oh, but we can't go there. So, oh, hey there. What's going on? Okay. And just gotta say, if you read the Ring of Judgment manga, this might look a bit familiar to you. Whoa, it's like Pikachu's down over here. Yikes! The chain battle! Yeah, these were introduced here in this game as well. Let's see if I can't get them both. Ooh, I can! Nice! Bam! Oh, uh, let's see, what's gonna have you attack? Oh, yeah, we don't really get to see what they, uh, their information is. Who has the information cards? Do you have the information cords? So one of you has the information cords. Maybe it's Lloyd. I don't even remember who I gave it to. Well, um, I guess it's, I guess it has to be Lloyd now. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's the Mute Quartz uh, coming into play right there. And counterattacks have been introduced in this game as well. Oh yeah, okay, so Lloyd has the information quartz right there. Wow, electrically charged body! This totally is a Pikachu! Like, seriously! And yeah, I know I've never played Pokemon, but... Come on now, you have to know what Pikachu is. I mean, my god, living under a rock or something? I guess I'm the only one who has been living under a rock and not um, played the... Um, the Pokemon games. You know, and it's funny, I actually purchased Pokemon Blue when it first came out in, like, what, 1996? I bought it, and I bought the strategy guide, and I played maybe five minutes. Like, that was it, until I was like, ugh, screw this, this is boring as hell. And then I, uh, never really picked it back up again. Yeah, I know, it's, like, blasphemy to say that, but it's true. And who do we have here? Little shell guys. Uh, oh, wait. Death Cargo. Wasn't there a Death Cargo in, like, pretty much every single Trails game, now that I think about it? I know that there was one in Cold Steel, and I'm pretty sure that there was one in Trails in the Sky as well. It just seems to be a running theme, kind of like the slimes in Dragon Quest. Oh, I really should have had her attack the other one. Oh, well, or we can counterattack it. That works, too. So a good thing to do in this game is to equip the um, the evade quartzes as well as the hit quartzes because the counterattack system is here. So evade will be very important in this game, unlike in the Trails of the Sky games where evade is pretty useless. That salamander skill is very nice though. Let's see, I think that they're... Whoa! Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, the Salamander skill, it actually, um, allows you to, what's the word I'm looking for, um, hit in a line. So, as usual, Randy and Lloyd are getting very nice skills, being able to, like, hit in the line, and hitting areas, and things like that. Whereas, the girls, not so much. Their skills, I mean, I guess Tio's skills aren't half bad, but, um, yeah, Ellie's skills are really leave something to be desired. Yeah, you can tack in a line like that, but Power Smash, definitely going to go ahead and use that. Hey, hey, awesome! Um, and Ellie, as usual, sucks! I guess we can use three-point burst. Like, it would be nice if it, like, had an impede function or something. But it doesn't, and it's just so terrible. Like, why? Why doesn't it have that? It's just 
Ridiculous. I probably should have had to use a fire spell or something along those lines, but it's not that big of a deal. There we go. Probably with this, um, I'm going to be able to show all the enemies that are around here. Yeah, let's use a fire spell on this guy because he does have a lot of defense. Hopefully, go no, it's not going to go through before his arc goes through. That would just be too much to ask. Uh, no. Oh, that sucks. Uh, let's see, we'll have you attack. Yeah, this guy's almost dead, so just kill him. That's fine. There we go. And you're going to want to have your CP somewhat high up. Um, because we are going to be having a boss fight coming up relatively soon. Whoa. Well, that's not too bad. And it hit her, and she has the highest art defense anyway, so I'm not too concerned about her getting hit by art. By the way, speaking of that Ring of Judgment manga, um, if you haven't read it, um, I did put it up in a video. It is translated into English, and if you don't like mangas, I mean, I don't really have ever, I've never really read a manga either, you know, just to be quite honest with you, I mean, I'm nothing if not honest, um, <laughs> I'm telling you, I haven't read Pokemon, haven't read mangas, haven't done any of this stuff, but anyway, um, I, I did read this manga, it is very interesting, that's kind of funny, up in this area over there, there was a, um, a little sparkly spot on my first test run through this game, so I don't know why the sparkly spot has moved, another reason why I'm not really getting all the sparklies, because they do move around, which sucks. But anyway, speaking of the manga, it follows the adventures of Joshua and Estelle, as well as Tovel, which is really kind of nice, you know, you always get to see Tovel, yikes, as they go through a crossbow. But anyway, here's a fishing spot, so let me take care of that real quick. Took care of that. Nice view here, I've got to say. Those ruins out there in the water reminds me of something from Final Fantasy X. But anyway, going on back about these, um, what is it? The, uh, the manga, the Ring of Judgment manga that I was talking about. Um, there's also a new enemy right around here that I want to go ahead and attack. You also get to see, um, Ein Selnit. You get to hear about what's going on with Renee. Um, it's just, it gives you a lot of good backstory. Um, you get to see Arios. I mean, it's, it's a pretty, pretty cool manga. So I highly, highly recommend it. And that's a lot coming from me, because I never really recommend mangas, because it's just, it's just, I don't know, it's just not something that I'm really into, I guess. Um, so sue me. But yeah, I liked it. I thought it was very enjoyable. And if you watch it, and then you watch this episode, you're going to see a lot of similarities. We'll just put it that way. I don't want to use too much of my CP, but eh, they'll be fine. There we go. Awesome. Oh, by the way, that extra straw hat, if I didn't tell you guys earlier, I went ahead and I gave it to Randy um, just to give him some extra speed because he is the most powerful one in my party. Wow, I'm like missing like crazy. This is insane. Shouldn't be missing this much. So yeah, I gave it to him just so, you know, he can get extra hits in and all that. These guys just have a lot of evasion or something. Oh, great. They can call it companions. That's just lovely. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and hit that one. Uh, looks like Tio. Oh, yeah, I can't reach that one quite yet, but yeah. Oh, good. I like it if you come closer to me so that you can get slaughtered much, much easier. There we go. Got lots of experience and everything through here. So let's just uh, continue on our way on down. Let's see. Wow, no sparkly spots or anything. Kind of disappointing, I must say. Huh. Anyway, let's go on down over here and get some treasure! Ooh, the Coral Ring. That, um, blocks the seal status. Oh. Oh! Rahahahili! <laughs> like those ruins that we just saw inside the lake? Yeah, so we can't go there quite yet. So, let's just, uh, continue on the road. And again, right around here there was a sparkly spot in my first, uh, playtest of this game, but not today for whatever reason. Whoa! Don't want to fight you. I've already fought you. I don't want to deal with you right now. I'm like, I'm getting obsessive about looking for these stupid sparkly spots, and they just, like, move around on me, and it's driving me nuts. I wish they didn't move. I'm not even going to worry about recording where they are on the map if they keep on moving around like this. Screw this. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. What is it? Oh! Oh no! It's the bussin' monsters! 
Wow, these monsters look very similar to what I saw in the Ring of Judgment manga. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take care of them. Also, they look really similar to some monsters that we saw in Trails of Cold Steel, too. Okay, so here we are, and we are fighting against... Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Oh, let's uh, try actually attacking them so I can see the details. The Ferocious Giant Monster. Wow, that's, um, yeah. <laughs> Way to use your imagination, game. But also, if you notice in the bottom right-hand corner, we have a little health gauge for, um, the bus. You do not want to get the bus attacked. Yeah. So you want to attack these guys as much as humanly possible using any sort of, um, area attack, especially the power smash, because that... Um, adds an AT delay, which is so useful. Let's move him over there so that he can use that. And I'm also going to have her use, um, Fort. Where is it? Forte. There it is. I'm going to have her use that on, um, Randy so that he can up his attack power. Please don't attack the bus. Thank you. No. Sweet. Okay. Thank God they didn't attack the bus. If they, if, they, if they do not attack the bus within the, within the first turn, you're gold. You're absolutely gold. Because now we're going to power smash the crap out of these guys and inflict AT delay. And then they're never going to get a turn again. Sweet! Wow, that team rush is so good. Um, now that I've used a Forte on him, um, I want to go ahead and use it on um, Lloyd as well. Now, you could go ahead and have her use um, Firebolt attacks since they are very weak to fire, but I'd rather her go ahead and hit both of the enemies. So, as I've said before, Ellie is going to be my support character because she just kind of sucks. Her attack power isn't all that hot. It's there. It's nice to have, you know. Um, her S-crafts are healing-based, which sucks. Um, <laughs> her magical power isn't as high as Tio's. I mean, it's nice. It's there. It's the second highest, but it's not the highest, which sucks. So, yeah, she's pretty much going to be you know, doing stat-ups, she's going to be doing stat-down, she's going to be doing healing with crafts, you know, every once in a while, whenever it's necessary. But for the most part, she's just kind of there as support. But yeah, easy enough. Took care of those guys. But hey! Sweet! Levels up all around. Nice! Ooh, and some U materials. Awesome! Oh, um, not really, Lloyd. Oh, well, maybe they came without forest that we couldn't go into yet. Yeah. What if we saw it in Cold Steel, it was in the forest as well. Hey, uh, you guys all right? Oh, well, glad that we could be a service. Oh. Oh, well, maybe we can help you with that. You know, Tio seems pretty good with machines. Oh, yeah, well, I hope that all your passengers on board are okay and everything. So maybe it was a short with the phone which shorted out the engine or something? Oh, yeah. I would imagine as a bus driver you're trained in, like, maintenance, like small maintenance tasks as far as, you know, if the bus breaks down, how to fix it and things like that. I'm not saying that they're a mechanic or anything, but small things I'm sure they can handle. Oh. Okay. We could do that, but I um, don't think it's that necessary. Well, what is it? What's going on? Whoa! Oh no! More monsters! Yikes! Are we ever going to take care of them? We barely took care of two. I mean, they got all of one attack each off on us. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Well, that was my biggest fear in that last battle, actually. Okay. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Estelle and Joshua! How you guys doing? Whoa! Took him out in one shot! Nice! So good to see you guys. Yeah! I'm sure she's fine. Shouldn't you be asking the bus driver how he is? Twin-tailed girl. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess back in uh, the manga. <laughs> At least, you know, they're nice to them. At least, you know, we're not rivals or anything. That would suck. Yeah, of course they are. You got your ass saved by bracers yet again! Oh, no, uh, thank you guys so much. It really was necessary. Wait. Randy... Orlando... Okay, I just put two and two together with something of, um, Cold Steel 3. I'm not going to say anything more than that. Um, there's been some... I don't know... Leaked footage or... Famitsu? 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 I don't know. Scans? Um, that have been released on, like, Silicon Era and some other websites. Um, as far as what's going on in the Japanese version of, um... Uh, Trails of Cold Steel 3. And there was somebody else revealed with the last name Orlando in there. That's all I'm going to say about that. Oh! Really? You don't say? Oh. Huh. Nothing like that. Yeah. Oh, poor Quartz Connection, huh. Yeah, okay, so I guess they did receive some sort of training in, um, you know, horrible engines and all that kind of good stuff. Maybe Tiu can help you out with that. Or Joshua could help you out with that, too, and steal our thunder, and then get written about positively in the Crossbell Times. That could work, too! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Estelle's like, simple tasks are his specialty. Nothing too complicated. Oh, yeah. More reliable than the uh, Crossbell Police, apparently. Wow. I feel really bad for Lloyd and his uh, little party right now. Always oh, getting uh, overshadowed here. Oh, so Tio isn't really good with bus repair. Huh. Uh, we're just heading on down to uh, St. Ursula's. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the St. Ursula Medical College. That's exactly where we're going to. What do you mean there really is such a place? Of course there's such a place. What do you think, it's a mythical place or something? I mean, come on. Oh, I guess so. Yeah. Oh, are you headed there too? Oh, that's so nice. Okay. Sweet. So we got to meet uh, Estelle and Joshua. Very nice. And next time, I'll just play the Legend of Heroes. Trails of Zero, we're going to move on down to St. Ursula's Medical College. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day. Oh, and I'm just going to talk to these guys real quick in the end slate, because, eh, why not? <laughs>